of YouTube video in almost a decade. No, no, that's insane. No. Uh, so I did planner videos in like 2017, 2018 for like six months. And then I don't think I've done anything since. So we're going to try to do a haul. I also have my phone sitting in a very precarious position. So we're going to just cross our fingers and hope that it doesn't fall. Uh, but I have a few orders. I don't, or I haven't been doing a whole lot of planner shopping. So this is kind of it. We have Planner Hannah, Scribble Prince Co. And Magical Print, Magic, Magical Sticker Co. That's what that is. So I'm actually going to get into Magical Sticker Co. First, because I have, I've gone through the other ones. I have not gone through this one yet. So I'm a little excited. Um, I did open it. I did open the, um, the seal. That's why it looks like absolute garbage because I am a monster and just kind of tear into things. Um, but I have not uh, flipped through anything. So this is from her birthday sale, I think. So I grabbed a couple or I grabbed a ton of grab bags. Uh, this is like the only like actual thing I bought the like non-grab bag thing um I always if there's washi on the cellos I always take it and put it on the mailer so let's get into it oh my god all right, my struggles have nothing to do with like the shop or the quality of their stickers. It's 100% me being an absolute monster. The amount of stickers I've torn trying to just go through my Happy Mail is insane. Um, and so we have the All Orders freebie with some scripts. So happy birthday, get glam, eat cake party celebrate with friends and it's my birthday i think this is the exact foil i used for the week of my birthday this year so wish i had this nine months earlier <laughs> um i'm kidding i'll definitely use this foil again probably for a birthday spread again so it would definitely be used and then oh my god oh the $25 freebie, which is a reading sampler. So we have an In My Fantasy era full box, which definitely has fourth wing vibes. I had to think about that. I've been so obsessed with, so obsessed with fourth wing recently. And I just had to think about like, what's that book called with dragons? Oh my God. It's been a long week, guys. It is currently Saturday, and it's my only day off a week from my day job. And I am in my office uh, printing and cutting stickers for my shop and taking a little break to do this. Uh, but anyways, back to <laughs> back to this. Um, so you get your loaf of box, buy books, organize books, read all day, start new book, bookstore run, and a finished book. I will definitely use that. And then I bought these two sheets of underlays, um, or dragon underlays. I thought they were so cute. And I'm going to use them with the writer kit from my shop. The art is from Cooper Kits. I chose gold and I'm kind of regretting it. I think I maybe should have gone with silver, but... Uh -huh, we're committed now, so decision made. Maybe I'll save it and use it with just like a general book themed kit. We'll see. I'll have to pull up the kit. I think I'm going to print and cut that kit today so I can use it for myself. 
um, because I don't have any like pre-cut. So I might, uh, I might do that. And then I got, let's see, I got two Oops Foil grab bags and four unfoiled Oops grab bags. So it looks like the format is there's like one or two freebies and then just normal size sheets. Why can I not open this? See, this is why I just, there you go. This is why I just destroy all the sticker packaging is because I don't have patience to do that. Um, which again, not not on the sticker, not on the um, shop or their owner or anything like that. That's just me being an absolute sticker gremlin and not having patience. Uh, so there's another one of these birthday freebies in that same foil color. May scripts in hollow, which I will for sure use. I go through monthly scripts like crazy. Pay bills in a purple foil. I don't know the names of her foils, so yeah. This is the second order I have ever placed with Magical Sticker Co. And I'm kind of in love, so there's that. Uh, Duncan scripts in hollow. I don't go to Duncan. There's not one close to me. There is a Dutch Bros and a Starbucks near me, but not a Duncan. Duncan is very much out of the way. So I might de-stash those ones. Then it says gratitude in orange foil, which I should mark anything that I'm grateful for more often i feel like i'm really good at marking things that are sad or upsetting but i'm not so good at marking like happy things or things i'm grateful for so maybe that'll push me towards doing that some more then we have um i wish i said like the name of whatever the sheet was up here so then if i wanted more i could go buy more um, not that I feel like I would have a hard time finding it, but, you know, uh, this is a Marvel movie sampler. I am currently watching, um, Binging the Spider-Mans. I don't think we're going to watch Far From Home, No Way Home. Uh, I don't think we're going to watch, like, the Tom Holland ones. I don't like tom holland please don't come for me uh i just he's not my favorite spider-man uh i like toby Maguire and andrew garfield way more um so i just i might just uh stick our surgery and just use the spider-man part and i'll save the other half of the script to maybe use in the future i don't know we'll see i don't think i'm in frame at all Ooh, sorry um, then we have training scripts in sparkly blue. So that was that grab bag. Let's bust into this one. I'm also probably gonna save. This is so. F oh, no! This is so random, but I'm probably gonna save these cellos because they're super crinkly and my cat likes to chew on cellos, especially if they're crinkly. So, um, if anyone wants to send me <laughs> their cellos for, <laughs> for my cat to chew on, <laughs> please do. Uh, another one of these happy birthday freebies. Uh, April scripts in silver also i don't know if you can tell i'm wearing a like fluffy sweater because it is freezing my office uh i can't tell if this is rose gold or like a sparkly rose gold it kind of has like a little bit of a texture to it um but the scripts say actual i don't like to use one I don't know what I'll, what I'll use them for, but I'm gonna use. That's pretty much how I always feel about, like, 
grab bags. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to use this, but I'll find a use. And then we have like a winter holiday uh, sampler in green. Declutter in hollow. Budget in gold. And then actual in gold which again i feel like this one has a texture to it i don't know if you guys can see it the lighting is god awful but i feel like it has a little bit of a texture to it so it might not be regular gold i'm gonna use it like regular gold because that's just how i am and then let's get into the unfoiled We have a uh, like end of year sampler, little freebie sampler. So happy new year, hello winter, make resolutions, celebrate, and happy birthday. And then we have September scripts. I really like that font. That font's really pretty. I might uh, go get some scripty scripts in that font. And we have Fast and Furious Marathon movie sampler, which I have never seen any of the Fast and Furious movies, so maybe I need that to just push me to go watch them. We have Payday scripts. Also, I haven't really been looking for like the oops on these because these are oopses, but I can see they're like, the like cut lines are off. I don't know if you can see that. I get the cut lines at like the very, very bottom of the script, so they're still completely usable. Especially because they're ugly paper. Then we have laundry scripts, which I always need. I always feel like I'm doing laundry. Family time, which is another script I kind of need, even though I don't spend like real family time. If I mark family time in my planner, I'm referring to like me and my boyfriend and the cats. That's my family. Um, but I didn't, I didn't need those. We have up early scripts, which I also really needed because I mark that in my planner pretty frequently. And then busting into the next one. We have kind of like a spring sampler, so happy Easter, hello spring, garden, picnic, and bike ride. Some August scripts, grocery run scripts, um, a Disney movie sampler sheet, which I'm always watching Disney movies, Whataburger, which I can't remember if Whataburger is like a local southerner kind of thing. I know Whataburger is not everywhere, I think, question mark, maybe. I know I sound so stupid, but I do have Whataburger where I live. I don't go there very often, but I do go there. Melt Wax, which I didn't need wax scripts, so worth it and clean all the things, which again, I desperately need cleaning strips. So these grab bags are working just fine for me. That's the thing with grab bags is sometimes you might get stuff that you absolutely will not use. And I don't know, I feel like I'm the kind of person where like I will save things for as long as possible and try to find a use for them. We have a half sheet Disney movie sampler. Some August scripts, vacuum scripts, church scripts, uh, Star Wars scripts. 
I'm be honest. I'm hesitating because I know uh, I'm. This is gonna be an unpopular opinion. Uh, 100% destashing goes. I don't like Star Wars. I'm not. I'm not a Star Wars person. Uh, I will probably never ever watch the movies. I've seen some of the Star Wars. Um, definitely not in any kind of order or 100% of the way through. I just don't find it interesting or entertaining. Then we have Pixar. Yeah, Pixar movie scripts. Hello, Wally. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Meet the Robinsons. I need to watch that one. I love that. Mm, I watched Monsters University for the first time recently. Still haven't watched Luca. Yeah. I love Pixar movies. Love them all. And then we have test scripts. And then let's bust into the last one. Maybe, maybe, there we go. Alrighty, we have Disneyland, Disney World, little sampler. Yeah. And then we have more Disney movies. Outlander, which I'm pretty sure is a TV show? Question mark? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a TV show. Uh, maybe I'll watch it. Now that I have scripts for it. Uh, McDonald's scripts, which that's another one I needed because I go to McDonald's fairly often. Water plants. And Pixar movies. And another Star Wars sampler that I will be destashing. So that was my order from Magical Sticker Co. Let's see. Next we have my order from Planet Hannah. Ooh, I did not check to see if there was an invoice in here. I maybe should have. Hold on. Okay, it does not look like there is an invoice in here. Cool. Yeah. Um, this order arrived open. Which was a little concerning, so I did immediately flip through it to make sure all of my stuff was there and everything looked good and fine, so I'm not too worried about it, but that was um, not great, which I'm pretty sure is just my post office being the worst post office in the entire world. This is not the first time any of my stuff has um, arrived open, so mm, that's fun. So first we have the sale freebie, which has this cute like bows and books box, uh, McDonald's, Kindle, YouTube play button, read all day, and a little snack. And it's in like lavender hollow maybe. Very, very pretty. And then the all orders freebie, I'm guessing. So the full box says, all the time you are throwing punches, I was building something. We have shopping, games, YouTube binge, read, work, fast food, late night, and pool. I think these might be in her new fonts, but I'm not sure. And then I got Elizabeth's... Um, PR freebie because I felt like this is the one that I would most likely use all of the things on it. So the full box says, started with a kiss. Oh, we must stop meeting like this. We have a gaming icon, um, like Xbox controller thing, a coffee, a computer, and then the scripts are gaming in Dutch Bros. And I go to Dutch Bros all the time and then 
a little die cut. It says, have a nice day. And then I got some custom scripts. So I got Taz Binge, which Taz is a podcast. It's actually called The Adventure Zone. It is a D&D podcast and I listen to it pretty frequently. So I go through phases where I like, I'll binge it. And it's just my favorite thing in the whole wide world. If you haven't listened to these podcasts, you should. Um, I rem recommend starting at the very, 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 very beginning. Back in like the early 2010s when they first started doing podcasts. Um, because their very first season is my personal favorite. I love it so much. I have a little tattoo on my foot dedicated to one of the characters. So there's that. And then I got BBP, which is my shop, Bunny Bear Plants. Because I mark like BBP work and I'm currently working like BBP work and like my day job just as work. So then I'll have like a day in my planner that's just like work, 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 work. And I'm like, well, I need a different way to mark that. <laughs> and then I got my Bim Bam which is another podcast I listen to. It is by the same people who do Taz. Um, my Bim Bam stands for my brother, my brother, and me. And it's just kind of a comedy advice podcast. And again, I highly, highly recommend it. That one you can just kind of start listening whenever and wherever. And if you're not missing out on anything, it all like makes sense. And then I got two foil bundles in the new corn foil. Um, I always, always, always um, change the format of how her bundles arrive. Alright, so we got full boxes, headers, ooh, nope, that's wrong. Full boxes, two underlays, headers, washi. Extra things, I don't know what to call that page. Um, so, headers. So, I always put it in this order because I feel like this just what makes the most sense to my brain. Makes my brain feel good. Um, in person, this foil looks very different than what I was expecting. It kind of looks more like matte bronze. Like a yellowy matte bronze. Um, I was expecting it to be yellow, like yellow, yellow. Um, but yeah, I will definitely use it. She's very, very pretty. I have not bought in anything from Planahanna in a very long time, so just a nice, fun little order. Oh, and then I don't think I showed this. The Mean Girls journaling card and... I don't know if you can see that. She wrote my name in sparkly pen, and I love that. And then finally, I have the Scribble Prince Co. Mystery. Um, oh, let me see which one this is. This is the August 2024 mystery, so if you don't want to see it, you can skip forward. Um, this haul probably will not be going out for a while, so probably by the time I post it, everyone will have seen this already, so I don't think it will matter, but just in case, just in case. Look at these full boxes. This is absolutely gorgeous. I have been not a fan of 
most of the mystery kits for this year but in love with this one and the one before it just absolutely gorgeous um so there's the full boxes the deco page i feel like i don't use deco so it doesn't particularly matter to me but i feel like that deco is abnormally large anyone else feel that way maybe it's just been a long time since i've used a scribble prince go kit so it just feels weird to me okay. anyway so that. uh we have the glitter headers and the extra boxes i love the waffles the mimosas ah, just gorgeous this page i feel like this is not in the order that an SP kit, SPC kit is normally in. Am I? Y'all, am I tripping? Am I? Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we got our quarter boxes, half boxes, tiny boxes, whatever we call those. Your little things, pattern boxes, solid boxes, and bottom washi. And your little seam box. And then your top box and a couple extra girlies. Very cute. When I'm filming this, the like extras, add-ons are currently in her shop. I don't think I'm gonna go grab the extra fashion. I think I'm pretty satisfied with the fashion in here. I'm definitely using that girly because I think I'm blonde still. Um, if you watch my instagram stories at all and ever see my face you'll know that my blonde has grown out so much of that it's more of an ombre so there's that but in my mind i'm still blonde and then of course you got your little um doodles then we got the foil bundle we got um this freebie with a bunch of like food doodles in matte bronze and then the kit is in or not the kit fuck me the foil bundle is like a matte silver so you got your full boxes second full box page um underlays underlays again scripts and doodles and your bottom washi so I'll definitely do mixed metal with this and like use this bundle and then pull in matte bronze, like more than just the doodles. Um, but yeah, that is it for this haul. If I get more stuff, I will film another little portion. I am thinking that I might also film stuff that i buy for my shop i don't know if you guys would care to see that um like here is a pack of like silhouette blades i bought here is like uh i don't show i don't want to show the paper i buy because um low-key i'm scared if i show the paper i buy people will buy it and then i won't be able to get it anymore like it won't be in stock um not that i really care if people know what paper i use i just want i just don't want it to go out of stock that's that's really what it is um but i might show the stuff that i buy for the shop i also might show the stuff that i print and cut for myself for personal use um, because I don't ever print and cut stuff that's not in the shop, I don't think. Yeah, I don't really print and cut stuff that's not available in shop, so. I don't know. We'll see. I might add more to this video, but if I don't, then enjoy. Oh my god, I just realized this video is 30 minutes long for three small sticker orders that's insane i'm so fucking chatty um i'm sorry i hope you like long calls bye okay my desk is a little crammed right now so you're gonna be able to see my foiler 
for the entirety of this video. I'm sorry, I have nowhere else to put it, so it's, it's just gonna be there. Um, we have quite a bit of things. I feel like the last haul clip I filmed was absolute chaos, so I'm going to try to reel it in today and maybe not be so, um, chaotic? I don't know. We'll see. So, first of all, I got some planner sticker stuff, um, or it's just like planner stuff off of Amazon. So, the first being these jelly roll glitter pens. So, I'll grab this little piece of paper so we can give them a little testy test. Let's see. Ooh, it is pretty. I'm sure it's writing like crap because I'm writing on my desk, which has like a texture to it. Um, maybe. Hold on, guys. Let's see. This is my work notebook, so I'm kind of trying to hide what's written in it. I think they're different colors. Uh, it says that they have different colors. I'm not seeing it, but the, um, the little comment on them are different. Ooh. I kind of just forgot how to spell hello for a second, so. I, I think they're all the same color. Um, absolutely gorgeous um do not ask me what i'm gonna use these for i have no idea i just um andrea of scribble prince co used them in her reading journal and i had to have some glitter pens so i bought those and then i got these um they are the same they're just different colors um i got I really did not need to, but I got two because they were on sale and it was cheaper than buying just one. Um, but they're just little notebooks with reusable sticker paper. I needed this for, um, like, pre-planning, like, pulling, pulling stickers. So I got that. And then, let's see... We are gonna go through this real quick. Ooh. Okay, cool. I don't know if you can tell, but I've already delved into this order and flipped through everything. That's why it's not in cellos, but it is a Play With Me stickers order. I have this pretty little journaling card, and then she writes the name, the, um, little colors on it so we have the alt order oh no we have <laughs> uh laura a wee plans freebie i asked for this freebie because i thought it was the most usable and that is in like gold and then we have the july alt orders freebie in copper the 35 dollar freebie in poolside, $50 freebie in silver, $75 freebie in sparkly hollow, and the $100 freebie in silver. I don't think I spent $100, but I might have. It's a little bit, it's a, it's a chunker, it's a chunker order. Um, first off, I got the Mojito Doodles to mark boozy, boozy nights. And then I got the Book Lover Doodles because they were on sale. Well, I like these things I got because they were on sale. I got one. I got three sheets of the monthly scripts. I do not remember what 
font this was in. Um, it was on sale though, so I got four. <laughs> and then I got the New Beginnings Quote Overlay Volume 1 in silver. Usually if I don't have like a specific idea what I'm going to use um, a uh, quote for, then I'll just get it in silver because I feel like that's the most usable foil, universal foil. Uh, so it says, enjoy the next chapter, small steps every day, you will smile again, and this will all make sense one day. And then I got kit lineup stickers for the end of this year and the start of next year. Desperately, desperately needed those. Um, here's the thing. <laughs> So I got the Twinkle Foil Bundle and the um, Lightning Strike Underlays in sparkly blue because I wanted to use these with the Rider kit, the Dragon Rider Fourth Wing inspired kit. Um, I'm kind of regretting my foil choice, but we're committed now, so it's gonna be sparkly, sparkly blue. <laughs> I'll probably also do like a mixed metal with silver. Um, then I got the Twinkle uh, Bundle. Here, let me flow through this for you guys. And um, I got the Twinkle Bundle in ice that I'm using with the Bridgerton Viscount Viscount kit. Um, I realized as I was saying Viscount, that's not how it's pronounced, but that's how it's spelled. So... <laughs> I feel stupid. So we have um, two sheets of underlays in the twinkle pattern, uh, headers and double box, the regular uh, overlays, tall box overlays, scripts, icons, and numbers, and bottom washi and hole enforcers. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the cello because I don't know when I'm actually going to use it. Um, I am determined to watch Bridgerton at some point, but I don't currently have Netflix, so I <laughs> don't know when that's happening. I'm going to watch it sometime this year, though. So. And I better do it soon because I'm not going to use a Bridgerton kit instead of a seasonal kit, like a Halloween kit. Nope, that's not happening. And then she sent me the Cryptides bundle, which goes in conjunction with the Cryptides kit from my shop. So we've got the under, uh, I'm trying to remember what foil color this is. I think it's, Chrome or something? It's chrome. It's not silver. It looks very silver, but it's not. Gunmetal, maybe? I think it might be gunmetal. So, we have the tides underlays, the full boxes, the headers, the double box, and two little quote boxes. Very, very cute. Your tall box, which is sent me a couple of different options for the tall box, and I picked out the um, Sasquatch Bigfoot because I thought <laughs> I thought that was a funny and also the Bigfoot in the kit looks like very similar to that and we have your, your scripts date numbers little deco pieces uh, we have whole reinforcers and washi um, she's always so generous she always has like three uh, strips of washi on here I will save like, I'll use the, like, two themed washies, and then we'll save that and use it with any old kit. So that was my Play With Me stickers chunky chunky order. Well, hi, why are we struggling so much today? There we go. 
think you. And then, okay, so I got some stuff from a new to me shop. Um, so I shopped Learn Designs for the first time. <laughs> um i bought i only bought printables from her so any mistakes are 100 percent my my bad um i also only printed all the things that i thought i would use so we have your this is the magic vibes kit um so the full boxes also the <laughs> and the mandrake ah that mandrake has no right being as freaking cute as it is look at him look at his little hands i love him i'm obsessed so there's that the bottom washi the large boxes um patterned large boxes glitter headers the little things um extra page with the um extra boxes and then i also got i also uh, printed off the um doodles and oh yeah see when i say mistakes that's what i mean that's my bad um i did the light skin dark haired uh fashion girl because she had ooh, the hufflepuff jacket and even though in my mind i think i'm blonde um I am first and foremost a Hufflepuff. And then... I got the... What is it called? Groovy Ghouls kit. I think this art is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I can't flip that too fast. Um, so there are the full boxes. The bottom washi solid boxes, patterned boxes, glitter headers, um, what are these things? Little things, I don't know why I'm struggling, and then the extra things with the extra boxes, um, there are like, there's at least one more page in her kit, I just did not print it off because I did not feel like I needed it and then I got the I printed off the doodles and the blonde fashion girls I also got the foil bundle which I foiled in sparkly rose gold and I will probably also pair it with hollow like a mixed metal moment um my foiler was too hot when I started this so I don't know if you can tell it's a little wavy and the foiling's messed up on a couple areas. Again, this was a printable, so this is 100% on me and not on Lynn or her shop. Um, but those are the headers and some of the full boxes. More headers, the rest of the full boxes. I feel like you can see it like real bad on this box where I just like janked it up. Yeah, my, that was my bad. <laughs> Um, this is a new to me paper, so the old paper I would use, um, needed to be at a higher heat setting than this one does. So then we got scripts, tall box overlay, we have the bottom washi, I think these are like fancy headers. I thought these were scripts, but they're actually, ooh, fancy headers. Um, I will probably chop them up and use them like scripts, though, because, yeah. Groovy ghouls, stay groovy, sweet and spooky, wicked cute, cute, but creepy. Yeah. And then we have the, um, two pages of the... Gorgeous, gorgeous underlays. So that is what I got from 
Leonard Designs, and then I have a bunch of stuff from my shop. <laughs> I figured I would show you guys um, what I am taking home. So, first we have the Cryptides kit that I was talking about that matches that foil bundle. So, see that um, the Bigfoot matches the one in the tall box. So, if you are not familiar with your cryptides, we have also, <laughs> this paper is so shiny on camera. If you're not familiar with your cryptides, we have um, Bigfoot, Mothman, Loch Ness Monster, and Jersey Devil. Uh, you have your rounded boxes, extra boxes, and deco. Pattern little things, solid little things, a bottom washi. This box is possibly my favorite. Um, pattern boxes, solid boxes, and the glitter headers. And then it comes with the freebie, the extra box freebie. I also have the, I'm also taking home the um, doodle sheet and the extra color. Um, I have quite a bit of stuff that I'm taking home from my shop, so that's one. Then, let's see. I am bringing home the Skater Girl kit. Um, some of these pages were I pulled out of like my misfit oops bin and then a couple of them I cut it so that I cut myself. So this is not a complete kit. This is kind of just like the stuff that I know I will use. So we have the full boxes, rounded boxes, um, extra boxes, a deco, solid little things bottom washi oh yeah i can see all that like that is a hoover cut but this again this is just for me that i am not selling this i mean it's it's in shop for anyone to buy but like i'm not selling just these particular pages and i don't mind if they're overcut undercut um solid boxes <laughs> glitter headers and then the um extra color and then i got the blonde release i like this one on the skateboard i don't know if you can tell but she has like a little bit of pink in her hair i think that's so cute and then again i did the same thing with this kit where i just um some of the pages are from my misfit bin some of them i print and cut for myself um, to kind of just put together a little bit of a kit with all the things that I use and none of the things that I don't use. So this is the writer kit inspired by Fourth Wing. Um, now that I have this out, um, I mean, I guess the sparkly blue doesn't look terrible with it. Yeah, I don't love it, but <laughs> uh, we're committed now. <laughs> so we got the full boxes, rounded boxes, extra boxes, and deco. Ooh, I mean, oof. Yeah. But that's just, again, that's just for me. Uh, solid little things. Bottom washi. Uh, solid boxes <laughs> and the glitter header page and then I got the um Burnett girl fashion option because that kind of looks like our girl Violet and then I have a few random random things so, I have two of the tummy ache 
girls in the blonde variant. Her name is Maddie after my sister. Um, I always have a tummy ache, so I needed those. And then when I was testing paper, um, I was doing a bunch of like paper testing due to the foil apocalypse that happened. So, um, in, in that I just printed off some of these, um, bottom washies and foiled them in silver. And they look gorgeous, so I'm gonna use them for myself. And then I had a bunch of, um, script samplers that I just grabbed to take home. So, we have rose gold, silver, sparkly hollow, regular gold, sparkly gold, sparkly rose gold, and silver hollow tinsel. So, most of these colors are in available in shop. Um, the sparkly gold, sparkly rose gold, and the tinsel are not available in shop. They'll pop up occasionally in freebies though. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous to show you guys <laughs> this. Um, so I bought some fun foils to test out. I do plan to use this foil with the, um, the Skater Girl kit. I feel like the colors match very well, so I printed off some solid underlays. You can tell they did not boil very well. Um, I, I think that's just like the best I'm gonna get out of this particular foil, so it will probably see, it will probably never see the light of day um, or come to shop ever ever again, but um, I really wanted to use it with the Scare Girl crate, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, so those are the underlays, and then I also printed off this, ooh, this is confetti bundle, because I do plan to bring like bundles, foil bundles to shop eventually, but it's not currently an option. Um, so we have headers, um, a bunch of scripts, and some icons. So, I feel like that was enough for me to be able to do a mixed metal moment. And then, from the same website, I bought this foil, which is silver with like a pink blood splatter. No idea what I'm going to use this with, but you can see kind of like on the bar here. Oh my, I feel like I'm blinding you guys. That the foil was not great and kind of stuck to everything except what it was supposed to stick to because there's so many black lines on here um so i bought that i did two solid underlays and then did the same like script icon header sheet i don't know what i'm gonna use that with but i have it so that is everything. My little my little stack for the day. Um I kind of wanted this video to be less chaotic than the last one, which I feel like I succeeded in to an extent, but we're still at 30 minutes, so it is what it is. Um this might be the last haul clip, there might be more. We'll see. If it's the if it is the last whole clip, then thank you for watching.